How do you assemble your airbrush? Well, once you've disassembled it to clean it, it's important that you put it back together in the proper way. Let me show you how to do that. When you're assembling the gun, it's done in a different order than when you disassemble it. This is just to make sure that you're aligning all pieces correctly. So the first thing you want to do is take your body of your airbrush and locate the piston. If you look through the small hole on the top of the body, you'll notice a small gold circle. That's the piston. And that's where the base of the trigger will rest. First thing you want to do is make sure that the grips of the trigger are going to face forward towards the cup. At the base of the trigger there are crossbars. You want to make sure that those slide into the slots on either side of the piston on the inside of the body of the airbrush gun. If you get it in the correct spot, the trigger will bounce up and down, kind of like a button. Once the trigger is in place, you want to make sure that you hold it in place until we insert the needle or else it could fall out. The next piece that we want to put in is our needle chucking guide. This piece has a small piece attached to it. You want to make sure that the small piece goes in first and pops out behind the base of your trigger. Next, take the spring and place it over top of the needle chucking guide, followed by the spring case. Tighten down the spring case until it stops. Keep in mind this may take you a little bit longer to tighten down than some of your other pieces. Once the spring case is tight, we can insert the needle. What you want to do is take the back of the needle and insert it into the front of your airbrush gun. This will keep you from bending or breaking the tip of your needle. Insert it until you have equal parts on both sides of your needle. Now we can take the nozzle and place the nozzle over the front of the needle. With your nozzle resting on your needle, at the back of the gun, pull the needle until the nozzle aligns itself with the front of the gun. Once it's aligned, you can use your fingers to start to tighten it. Tighten it as much as you can with your fingers, and then use the wrench from the inside of your SP35 case to make it snug. Remember, you don't want to over tighten it, because you could risk bending or breaking it. Just tighten it until it stops. Once you've done that, you can take the needle chucking nut and place it over the needle on the back of the gun and tighten it down until it stops. Now, pull back on the trigger so at the front of the gun you no longer see the needle inside the nozzle. This will keep you from bending or breaking it when we apply the nozzle cap and the needle cap. At the front of the gun, attach your nozzle cap, followed by your needle cap. You can release the trigger now and place on your tail cap. Your airbrush is now ready for use. Remember to practice assembling and disassembling your airbrush gun. Because the better you get at it, the easier it's going to be to use and the more confidence you have when using your airbrush. For more tips, tricks, and other frequently asked questions, check out all of our videos at temp2pro.com.